Hi, I'm Dr. Josh Matthews, and on this episode of my series, What Makes This Movie Great, it's one of the great wartime courtroom dramas, a great Australian film, Breaker Morant, coming up next. So Breaker Morant is probably the greatest movie about the Boer War. There aren't a lot of contenders for that title, but hey, you gotta give this movie some great title because it's legitimately good. The Boer War was fought in the late 1800s between the British Empire and the South African settlers called the Boers. This was an extremely nasty war involving lots of guerrilla actions. The Boers did not adhere to normal rules of war. And the British Empire reacting to that and reacting with it developed something pretty nasty and that came to be unfortunately commonplace in 20th century wars concentration camps. Now the movie is about three British officers who are tried for war crimes by the British Empire itself. The British Empire is accusing them of being cruel and unjust, of murdering Boer soldiers without due process. And so most of this movie is as a courtroom drama where the three Australian soldiers are tried by the British Empire. And then interspersed with the courtroom scenes are flashbacks to what happened or what probably happened on the battlefield during wartime when these Australian soldiers were active. It's a very interesting movie where you have these three men who probably are unjustly accused and tried of a crime that during wartime doesn't seem like a crime. And during the movie, you're going to root for these three soldiers who, as Australians, don't feel like they should be fighting the wars for the British Empire. I don't mean that the soldiers themselves feel that way, but the movie sort of generates this question that, well, why were Australians fighting for the British far away from Australia? And why would Australia be part of the British Empire, which forces its own good men to go abroad and do things that, well, don't help Australia? There's a suggestion in the movie that the three men are being used as pawns by the British Empire and that their lives actually don't matter that much to the British Empire as a system. If these three Australians have to be sacrificed to help bring about a peace conference, it's a small price to pay. There's another dynamic in this movie that's really interesting though. You have this sort of higher noble law that the British are trying to impose on or force onto this horrifically chaotic wartime scenario during the Boer War. The Empire expects its soldiers to act nobly and justly when they're being attacked wantonly, when pastors or preachers are posing as preachers but are actually soldiers, when men, women, and children are even fighting in the Boer War. What's a British soldier to do when he's attacked in a time and place he shouldn't be attacked in? Just take it? Well, the British legal system seems to say, yes, you should obey our laws. So this movie at once pits the chaos of wartime and whatever people or soldiers do during wartime against this sort of higher law that doesn't work during wartime. As well, there's a feel of this sort of judgment at nerve Nuremberg scenario in which these Australian soldiers are doing what they ought to do, doing what they're told, and then being tried. Was it reasonable for the soldiers to do what they did? I mean, they really did do what they did, but they're being accused and the accusation seems onerous and wrong. Or should they be justly tried and sentenced to death for what they did? Order, this evidence is completely irrelevant. Irrelevant? Irrelevant what I have established that it was common practice among the Bushveld Carboneers to shoot prisoners. The movie asks these questions about what, how people should act during chaotic and horrific wartime scenarios. And clearly this is a 1980s drama that is not just about the Boer War, but basically every war that's happened after the 1890s, including, of course, World War I, World War II, etc., etc. The movie is very well acted. It's done by the great Australian director Bruce Beresford. All the actors really are quite good in this. There's probably a little bit of overacting by a couple of characters. I'll tell you, I watched this movie about 10 years ago. I was really moved by it. Then I picked it back up and watched it again, and it was even better the second time after I'd aged 10 years. In fact, I think, you know, great movies, they get better if you read more and experience more in life. And so I've had that experience with Breaker Morant. 
A movie that's 40 years old but is not going to disappear because so many of its issues are timeless and relevant. And as I said, this is the best movie about the Boer War. You'll learn a little bit about that war. And it's probably one of the best, if not the best, wartime courtroom dramas ever made. That's why I think this movie is great. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more great information. If you've seen the movie, I'd love to hear what you think about it. Thank you and have a great day.